How's it going guys? Damien here with the Mod Shop. This is going to be a quick little tutorial um, on how to rip a game with Aurora. Now I have a couple of customers that's been requesting me to make this video um, mainly because they're having some issues um, backing up games with Freestyle. Um, XEX menu doesn't work too well with XGD3 games and uh, so Aurora is a good alternative. So we'll go ahead and get started. I'm going to go ahead and go over to games XEX menu. Alright, from here I'm going to go ahead and go into eLauncher, apps, and uh, you want to go to Aurora. So go ahead and go down to the Aurora.xex. Okay, so now we're going to press the back button to go to System, File Manager, and then we're going to, in this left tab, we're going to go into DVD, then we'll press right bumper to go into the secondary tab, then we'll go to the hard drive, so HDD1, I'm going to navigate to the Games folder, and today I'll be ripping Portal 2, so I'm going to go ahead and create a folder for Portal 2. Uh, so if you go over to the left and click on the folder icon, press A for a new directory. I'm just going to name this uh, P2. Alright, perfect. So go ahead and go into that folder you've just created. I'll press L to go back to the left tab. Okay, so now that you're in the DVD directory, you want to go ahead and press and hold X on the topmost file or folder. In this case, it's going to be the system update folder. So you want to press and hold X and scroll all the way down to you have every file checked in the games directory. In this case, the final file is version.xtx. Then go over to the file options and we'll click A for copy. Press right bumper to go into the secondary tab. And then we'll go back over to the file options and then we'll paste them. Now it says paste 13 items for Portal 2. There's going to be 13 files or folders uh, within the games directory. So we'll go ahead and click yes. And so it's going to go ahead and spin up the disk and start copying the files to the directory you've created. So I'll go ahead and speed this up and once this is finished we'll come back. Alright, so now that that's finished, you'll see that the P2 folder that we've created is now populated with the Portal 2 game files. So I'll go ahead and back out to the dashboard. Alright, now I'll go ahead and eject Portal 2. Go back into My Games, XEX menu. And you'll see that our P2 folder is being recognized under Games Discovery. So I'll go to the hard drive, Games folder, and P2. Go down to default.xex and launch the game. And there it is. So thank you for watching. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below, and I'll see you in the next one.